picture too? Est-ce que je peux prendre quelque chose? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, she's coming in. Yeah. I'm going in? Yeah, yeah, with me. I need. Yes, of course, of course. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> is a four-year-old heart transplant recipient. Today she had the honor of carrying the torch of life to Montreal City Hall. This year's version of the torch of life relay began in Alaska last October and the torch is making its way through the Americas all the way to Argentina. The aim of this relay to raise awareness of the critical need for organ donations. Zoe is the organization's youngest torch bearer ever. She's here in studio with her parents Catherine and Marco. Hi to both of you. Hello. Hello. And we can hear um, Zoe's voice. Zoe, Zoe, put me dire bonjour. <laughs> no, <laughs> I have to say Zoe was full of talk a few minutes ago. <laughs> as we were listening to, as you were listening to the news, I was talking to Zoe. Hey, est-ce que t'as apporté ton petit euh, bouton? C'est quoi son nom? Pee-wee. Et son nom est Pee-wee. Qu'est-ce qu'il dit? Est-ce qu'il dit quelque chose? Est-ce qu'il dit ba ba? I think that may be all we're going to hear from Zoe. Zoe, but uh, she is uh, just. Oh, there we go. There's a ba. Okay, you have to translate for us, Marco. Well, she's wondering what everything is. <laughs> you hear a few bangs because uh, Zoe's very interested in our microphone. And. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn to Catherine for a second, because Catherine, Marco is holding Zoe in his lap, and you're holding the torch. Yes. Tell us about, tell us about this day. Uh, well, today, um, it start, all started two years ago when someone was carrying the torch while Zoe was waiting for her heart. And um, she, the torch visited her at the hospital. And uh, she had her heart a few months after that. And this, uh, today was her day of carrying the torch uh, to uh, City Hall. And I'm looking at the torch, and it's just about as big as she is. <laughs> yes. so how, Marco, how did, you ma how, how did you manage? Well, I, I kind of uh, helped her uh, a little. I was carrying Zoe, and uh, Zoe was carrying the torch, and I was uh, helping her to, uh, to carry it. But it, uh, it went just great. Splendidly well. Yes. And it kept you warm. Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> She was asking us a few minutes ago why we had the torch when we, it wasn't lit, but we had to tell her inside the inside the building we can't light it. Exactly. This is a, a really special torch too, that, from the very first days of this the torch of life relay. I understand. Can you tell us about that, Catherine? Yes. Well, it was um, blessed. Blessed. Thank you yeah. uh, by uh, Pope Jean Paul II, and uh, he said uh, that uh, that it would. Be, um, can you remind me, Marco? I think it was in 2001. Yes, so I think so. Went before, yeah, so the, the, the previous pope, who's, who's, uh, who, who blessed it apparently, hoping it would be passed on to young people. To so, youth, yes, exactly. So, so what an amazing, uh, so what an amazing thing that she is the youngest ever. And we, you have to tell us, you, we know she's had a, a new heart, because yes. uh, you've told us that. Uh, who wants to tell us a little about her story? Um, <laughs> Zoe uh, was born in perfect health, she seemed in perfect health, uh, and uh, two months, she was ex exactly two months when uh, weird signs uh, started to show. She, uh, between two and four months, she didn't gain weight anymore, she was vomiting, she was crying all the time, she didn't seem comfortable. So then uh, a few months after, she was diagnosed with uh, cardiomyopathy. And we were told she could be either better or it could go worse. And it went, she was stable for a few years. And at two, they told us that uh, she had to go through a surgery where we, they would put a, a pacemaker mm -hmm. to help her heart right. pump better. And it did not work. So she was put on a transplant uh, waiting list. And how old was she then? She was two. She was two. Yes, yeah, so that uh, whole six months, uh, we were pretty much in the hospital. We had to put her asleep at once because with a, a breathing machine because um, her heart would, would not be sufficient uh, to uh, to do all the, the the work it has to do. <laughs> yeah. So she she waited uh, she six waited six months. months. Yes. 
And it is kind of always a bit of a heartbreaking story for someone, right? When, mm -hmm. But a wonderful story for someone else. What, what, yes. what do you know about her, uh, her donor? Do you know anything at all? We do not know anything. We know it comes from the United States, and it was ac exactly during the finals of hockey uh, between Canada and Philadelphia, and it came from Philadelphia. <laughs> so and it was at uh, a day of a playoff. <laughs> Catherine, how did it feel to watch uh, your daughter and your husband carry that torch today? Oh, so proud, because now we're living happy moments. Zoe is happy, she's joyful, she, she's just as, as a little four-year-old should be. She's still with us, um, and seeing her today with her nice smile, and she was so proud of carrying the torch, and uh, she felt herself that she was carrying it for all those sick people who, who need new organs. And she even said to us, away from the cameras, <laughs> that uh, the flame would help sick people, and she wanted to give hearts to sick people. <laughs> I, you know what? Zoe is wearing a little blue heart around her waist. She was she showed it to me earlier, and she showed me her scar. She's very sophisticated in her knowledge about what she's been through. Very much. We have uh, two and a half year old twins that, uh, uh, and at two she she knew so much more than uh, than they know now. She knew where her heart was. She knew that it was broken. That we had to change it, and she's very aware. I would say she 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 knows. Um, a lot about her health. <laughs> how how has participating in this uh, this torch of life? How has it sort of? It, how how would you say it's um, affected the recovery process, if you like? Why why was it so important for you to participate in this? We feel that uh, Zoe has received the biggest gift uh, anyone could ever receive, and uh, we have as a mission um, to uh, to talk about it because that's the way we have more people signing. Uh, the Carte de France Maladie. Their donor, um, uh, their, donor uh, sig their signature is exactly. on the back of their Medicare So we cards. need to have people sign, have people talk about it, and if people are wondering where they can get the little sticker to, to sign behind, um, we can, uh, there's a Quebec Transplant. Uh, it's called signedon.ca. Uh, Signé uh, ends with E-Z, D-O-N.ca. And uh, in English, uh, the, the, the name of the Sign. site? Sign for Life. Sign, Sign for Life. Sign for Life. Yes, yes, and you can order stickers and you receive stickers by the mail. Do you know, uh, Marco, where the, when, where the torch goes from here? I guess it goes back to... Um, in the Toronto. east. Is it uh, uh, to Eastern Canada? Yeah. Yes, and, it is. And in the States. Oh. And then uh, in and the then States starting February. I do know, if you want more information, you can go to the website, sosamericans.com, SOS because that torch of life is making its way all the way down to Buenos Aires in Argentina by 2011. Thank you so much to all three of you for coming in. Zoe Bernard, thank you. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Zoe. And Marco and Catherine, her parents. And it's 22 after 4. Let's rush back over to Jesse Connell, have a look at the latest traffic. Sorry, you asked a question to Marco, but I was I was <laughs> doing the relay I'm of the like information. Just taking her and taking care of her. I'm like not yes, focusing. No, no, she complimented me.